Hey guys, MCU Collector here with a new video. This one will be a short comparison video uh, showing these two Tomashi Nations um, Samurai Spider-Man figures. Now, the one on the left is the original red and blue Samurai Spider-Man. Here on the right, we have the Onmitsu Black Armor Spider-Man. It's the same figure. Um, but it's in the the new deco, which is going to be the black and purple, which I didn't know it was purple until I opened this figure up um, And then actually you see on the box, but it, it's always looked like it had gray lines to me But it actually purple and really makes the figure pop and stand out now The first one was called the S samurai spider-man, which we know that samurai um, Was kind of the old military nobility of Japan now the own Mitsu um, it's titled differently um, is really means ninja of old um, or secret service in Japanese. So it's just kind of interesting that they really labeled them differently, but it's basically the same thing. So here, take a look at the back of the figure. We see some images um, of the figure with some of the accessories. Here on the back of this one, we actually see basically uh, the same kind of stuff because everything is the exact same of these figures. I'm gonna open up the two so you can see them side by side and see um, that all the accessories are even the same just with the new deco. Okay, so quickly you could see that the inside of the package, we actually have the same exact accessories um, and everything that really comes along with the figure. There are two web lines, which is really, um, it's a chain with this wrist piece. So you could go around the wrist, makes it look like he's flipping it out as if it's a web uh, with a grapple hook at the end of it. So each figure comes with two. Um, each one comes with the sword and then the sheath to hold the sword, which all in black, I guess it's a little dark. To see that you could see it there um, and then one two three four five six seven eight total of five interchangeable hands you got the ones uh, the fists that are included on the figure already there's a set of thwipping hands there is a set of holding hands open hands and now that I'm actually looking at these two together there is one additional uh, set of interchangeable hands that the black armor figure comes with that the older red and the classic looking one red and blue comes with and I'm looking I'm trying to see these hands are basically the exact same but I guess these ones almost look like the hands that you would get with other spider-man figures where he's holding the web so these are the newer hands that this figure comes with that this figure did not come with. So that's actually interesting. I did not know that until looking at the packages side by side. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, so here are the two figures side by side. So you can see that the sculpt and everything about the figures are actually the exact same. There is no difference between the two. But you can clearly see the Deco Wars. The red and blue one um, has green web lines, which is kind of weird to think the red and blue and then green over it, and then purple on the outline of the whites of the eyes. Uh, the black armor is all um, black, obviously, with a little bit of a, a darker gray or um, a kind of a f matte black. Um, on some of the armor where some of it gets a shinier black uh, but the purple web lines then the like these ties and everything are blue whereas this one those ties are green um, and really that's about it now the spider um, web shooter I guess is what th the idea is there um, they're silver on this one whereas this one they're black and the, the like the legs that wrap around are brown um, but other than that, again, the figures are the exact same. The swords and everything are the same. They're just different color. Like this handle is all black. Whereas on this one, the handle is done with that white with the brown wash over it. And then there's a spider that's sculpted onto it that's painted black. Uh, that spider is still here on these new swords, but it's all black. They didn't paint the spider itself, but it is still sculpted on there. Um, the same with the knife in front that's actually not removable. So... That's pretty interesting. Now, looking at the package, I didn't notice these either, but there are actually a couple of more accessories that the black armor Spider-Man comes with that the red and blue one does not. So there are two um, spears uh, that come with the black armor Spider-Man that did not come with the red and blue. Now, these are quite nice. The paint of them, they're kind of done in a gunmetal looking color with a little bit of purple around where the strap would be. And then there's a little hole at the end, um, which looks like it could, I don't know how I would do that, uh, but could connect to these chains. I guess if I wanted to make that change, but that'd be kind of difficult to do. Um, so they could do it like that. Now, I would have liked if, say, one of these... We're already on the end of the chain. That way, you know, his web shooting, it looked like he can do that. That would have been pretty cool. 
but I'll try to get a close up on these so you can really see it. So there's, it's, they're done really nice. There's kind of a metallic blue on the ends of these tips, uh, which look awesome. So I'll get it zoomed in on that uh, soon. So um, I didn't put this on the figure already, but the sheath for the sword, you can see you could just push the sword in and it just ports on the back of the figure. There's a little peg hole there. Um, a little peg right there and you just port it onto the back of the figure. It's done on a ball joint so you can actually swivel that sword completely around into whatever position that you want to get it in. So there it is. Now to switch out some of the accessories, we're going to pop this hand off. And I did bring out the th one of the thwip hands. But what I'm going to do is this web shooter pulls right off of the wrist push that off to the side and then the web line one we'll just put go on right over the wrist or should go right over the wrist and doesn't want to go right over the wrist uh, you kind of have to work it onto that wrist it's a little warped all right, well, I'm gonna have to, have to do that off camera, so be very careful with that. Here we go. Okay, so I finally got it on. You really have to work it and twist it and stuff to get it onto there. Um, but then you could just pop the hand right on. There goes the sword. Port that right back in. Um, so then you can then look like you are thwipping uh, the chain out. And then this grapple hook at the end is actually kind of sharp, which is kind of nice. And then I, you know, you can hook it on, you know, something to give it that web shooting look. You know, as I bring down my light, I can hook it right on there. So that's really cool that you can do something like that. Okay, now let's get in close at look at the figure. So I just want to show you guys this real quick, just in case you have it. I don't know if I'm having an issue with mine or if that happens normally. I didn't mess around with the red and blue one too much, uh, but on this one, as I kind of started to move it around, he just kind of fell in half. Um, so it's kind of interesting how some of these parts kind of go together. So you have that, that which goes on first, and then you have this other piece that just goes on there, and it looks like it just kind of sits in there. Um, it's on there kind of funny and then at the waist there's a ball joint and I guess I just port the figure portion of it right back on or not which I guess I'm gonna have to do off camera again so <laughs> Uh, maybe these aren't the best, you know, for an 80 to 90, like a $90 retail figure. Um, I don't think this is something that should be happening, especially when we look at Tamashii Nations. Um, and we th think that, you know, it should have great articulation um, in being a premium figure at, at a higher cost. But, you know, things like this happen. It could be just mine, though. Um, you know, may not be an issue that happens to everyone's figure, but just so happened, just so... Or that, it just doesn't sit on there very tightly. Uh, so that's interesting. So that's that's on there, um, but it's a little loose, and that gives it the lower torso articulation because there is no ab crunch or diaphragm joint on the figure. But it does allow for some good pivoting motion. Um, and then, <laughs> okay, well. Let me pause it. I'm going to see if the red and blue one is the same way. Um, maybe mine just defect. Let's see. Okay, so I did piece it back together. Um, it's kind of designed that way. Not that it should come off so come apart so easily, uh, but it is part of the design. I think this belt piece right here just sits a little bit higher to where the figure doesn't want to pop down all the way. And I probably just need to heat it up a little bit, loosen it, hold it down, then put the figure back together. But other than that, there's really no issues. It's not broken or anything. Um, but it is a little bit difficult because when I want to crunch it down, it's just going to come apart again. Now let's take a look, um, a closer look at some of the things. Uh, but before, actually before I get to that, one of the things that I was talking about, the, this, little, this little spike or spear that it came with, now the additional hands that he came with. Now what those hands do, they actually allow 
uh, the figure to hold that spike, whereas the other holding hands would be too big and would not be able to properly hold this. Um, so that's probably why we got the new um, the new set of interchangeable hands. Let's take a closer look now. Okay, that's probably the closest I can get in taking a look at this, and you could see um, ever so slightly the little bluish tint that's on the end of that spike there. It's just a nice little detail that they have. I mean, put the light up. Ah, there we go. So you can see it a little bit better that way when I really get the light directly on it. Um, so I really like the way that came out in here is that other interchangeable hand that the red and blue one does not come with and you can see it's a tighter grip so he can actually hold that spike um, in that hand easily so that looks good so that's what the extra interchangeable hand set is okay let's look at the figure okay here's a closer shot of the two figures side by side and you can see again they are the same figure but this the purple on this one really helps get that figure to pop um, and really stand out and I know it's and even it's even hard for that purple to come through on camera um, but it really does help um, stand out is you know when I when I first seen that the figure was um, announced before it came out I assumed it was gray because all the images it looked gray uh, but then when getting it that's when I see the purple and you could just see kind of all around we get another spider logo back there but that's where the swords gonna pop port right in. there goes the red and blue and you could just see all around what a great looking figure it is. Um, so that's the comparison. Uh, not a whole lot of uh, difference, just a little bit in the color. This is the only spot where we get a bright blue on the original red and blue. Um, but one definite difference that I see is actually on the red and blue one, you could see that there's a little bit kind of a, a brown, dirty wash on this figure um, all over the blue pants and then the blues of the arms. Whereas this one does not have any of that um, on its pants or its arms at all. So it's just an all black, matte black look to it. Um, as opposed to this one having kind of a dirty look to it. And it's even throughout the blues here is on part of the armor. Uh, but other than that, no difference. Um, it does look great. I think these look awesome together. Um, and I didn't mention this before, but these are the manga realizations or manga, however you pronounce that, um, by T Bandai Tamashi Nations. And they are pretty awesome figures that I am very happy to have in my Spider-Man collection. So if you guys have any questions down below, let me know. Hit the thumbs up if you guys like the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.